everybody, welcome back to Chic on the Cheap. Thanks so much for watching. This week's project is actually part of our major kitchen renovation that we've been working on. Uh, in part of our kitchen, kitchen, we have a little nook, and my mother-in-law gave me this really pretty chandelier to put in the kitchen nook, but it didn't have any of the um, coverings to go over the light bulbs. Now, some people will just put like the, the light bulbs that kind of look like a flame, but I've never been a fan of those, so I decided I wanted to try to make my own little lampshades to go over each of the individual individual chandelier lights. So I wanted to make them out of something that was a little bit unique because my kitchen is kind of a vintage romantic theme. So I got creative with paper mache. Check it out. So to make the shades, I needed a shape that would fit around each light, and to do that I used my juice glasses. I started by spraying them with some oil so that after I made the paper mache around the glass, it would come off a little bit easier. So I guess this isn't true paper mache because I did use Mod Podge instead of a flour and water mixture, but you could do flour and water paper mache if you wanted to. I just like Mod Podge because it dries a little bit faster. So I started by just putting a thin layer of Mod Podge on my glass um, mold and then I put wax paper for the first layer of these shades. Now you may be thinking you're gonna make a paper shade with Mod Podge to go over a light. Yes, but I'm only using seven watt light bulbs and they're, they don't get very hot. You can run them all night and then grab them and they're not very hot. So it's a safe way to do it and the wax paper kind of acts as a, a mild heat barrier to the paper. So after you've done that layer of wax paper, next you're going to put another thin layer of Mod Podge over that. And then I took an old songbook and just ripped up some pages um, of that music and started to do a layer of Mod Podge over the wax paper. So I just kept layering on these sheets of music, these little pieces of music, over one another and keep in mind that once you, once you have a light inside of here you're going to see every place that you layer these pieces of paper so if you don't want to see all the places where they cross each other maybe just only cross them very minimally so you can put them at angles you can do whatever you want and I liked kind of a jagged torn edge at the top just because I thought it looked a little more textural you could trim it off at the top and make it um, flat if you wanted to be creative with it so next after they've dried go back with your scissors and to get these off of the glasses you're just going to cut a slit down uh, the cast that you've made and then just slide it right off the glass. The olive oil is going to help those to slide off real easy and then all you need to do is put a little piece of tape on that seam that you cut and your shade is all done. And then all I did is take a little bit of tape and secure them onto the chandelier where I wanted them and this is what the finished product looks like. It looks really great with the lights off or with the lights uh, yeah, off, and then once you turn the lights on, you get this really cool effect of kind of a glowing music kind of thing. So turned out really good. Again, safety first. Use low watt light bulbs if you're going to make paper shades, and just be safe about it. But it's a really cool effect and a cheap way to do it if you're looking for a creative idea for your chandelier. Thanks so much for watching. Please join me right back here next week for more money-saving ideas that will make you look good.